government has said that 17 sectors will become new growth engines which will help stimulate the economy. LG Chem has won an exclusive contract to supply batteries to General Motors. And green boy Park Tae-hwan is training hard in LA. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Wednesday, the 14th of January. I'm Nemo Kim. The government has announced that 17 sectors will become new growth engines to stimulate the economy. President Im Yong Bak has stressed the role of future-oriented investment as a way to boost Korea's international status. The National Science and Technology Council and the Presidential Council for Future and Vision have selected 17 sectors as new economic growth engines. The 17 areas will get gradual government support from 2012. The new growth engines include the development of renewable energy sources, the construction of high-tech green cities, and the development of an IT convergence system. The convergence of biotechnology and medicine will also be promoted. In high-value-added services, the government will seek to make Korea a global health care and educational hub. The development of software and content will also be pushed for. President Yi received a briefing on the new growth engines. He said afterwards that the country needs to focus on future-oriented investment to make huge strides. He asked government agencies and business to cooperate in boosting Korea's international status. The government says the new growth sectors over the next decade will generate 519 billion U.S. dollars in added value and create three and a half million jobs. Annual investment in eco-friendly technologies will increase from $667 million to $1.4 billion by 2012. As nations around the world toughen their environmental restrictions, eco-friendly energy export has become a new lucrative sector. Here's more. The small business in Korea manufactures silicon solar cells. It has improved the efficiency of solar power conversion by more than 15 percent and started exporting to Germany in 2007. Last year, the company expanded the export markets to Hong Kong and India, posting more than $741 million in exports. 올해 우리 공장을 150메가를 증설해서 유럽 지역에 1조 2천억 정도의 수출 목표를 달성할 계획을 가지고 있습니다. Now the company is stepping on its development of post silicon solar cells for the next generation. It had already succeeded in developing thin film solar cells which can be applied as a thin layer to convert sunlight into solar energy. 저희들이 갖고 있는 세계 제일의 반도체 디스플레이 인프라를 이용을 하면은 저희들이 세계 경쟁력을 갖추고 또 무한한 시장을 점유할 수 있을 것이라고 생각합니다. The solar power, bioenergy and other renewable energy sectors exported a little more than a billion dollars last year. But these future-oriented businesses are expected to grow exponentially as the world imposes tougher environmental regulations. LG Chem has won an exclusive contract to supply batteries for a next-generation electric car produced by U.S. car giant General Motors. GM made the announcement at North Korea's biggest auto show. The North American International Auto Show features the newest models and trends in the global automotive industry. Eco-friendly and highly efficient models are the main features in this year's event. The fate of U.S. auto giant GM hangs in the balance, but the carmaker has unveiled a next-generation electric car. Unlike hybrid cars that use both gasoline and electricity, GM's model uses 100 percent electricity. LG Chem has become the sole supplier of batteries for the electric sedan. We've determined that the design, development and production of advanced batteries must be a core competency for General Motors. LG says its lithium-ion polymer battery is 50 percent more efficient than the nickel hydroxide model produced in Japan. 
정말 이게 탁월한 기술력을 인정받아서 이번에 저희가 단독 공급업체로 선정이 됐습니다. 향후 한 5년 내에 1조 원의 투자를 해서 신성장 동력으로 집중 육성하도록 하겠습니다. The market for electric car batteries is expected to grow an average of 47% a year. Tokyo Governor Shintaro Ishihara has once again made controversial comments. His most recent claim is that North Korea should be merged with China. Tokyo Governor Shintaro Ishihara said Monday at the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan that it would be best for North Korea to be merged with China. He also criticized the six-party nuclear talks for being ineffective in resolving the North Korean nuclear issue or opening up the country. Ishihara added that China's incorporation of North Korea is the easiest solution for the U.S. to resolve the North Korean issue and China would not object to the merger. He also said that South Korea may oppose the integration for it wants to be reunited with the North, but the South will eventually stand to benefit from the incorporation. Governor Ishihara has inflicted controversies for his nationalistic views. He had claimed at the press conference with foreign journalists last year that Japan freed Asian nations from colonialism and in 2007 argued for military empowerment by arming Japan with nuclear weapons. His comments about North Korea are likely to bring extensive diplomatic repercussions as they provoke North Korea as well as South Korea and surrounding nations. Swimming sensation Park Tae-hwan is hard at training in Los Angeles. The Olympic gold medalist says he is focusing on improving his endurance and turning technique to set a new personal best in the 1,500-meter freestyle. Swimmer Park Tae-hwan is training in Los Angeles. His training venue is the campus of the University of Southern California. He's seeking to break his best time in the 1,500-meter freestyle. Famed USC swimming coach Dave Salo is helping Pak improve his technique in the long-distance race. Salo has trained a number of champions in the sport, like Ian Thorpe. 어 장거리 훈련에 임해서 뭐 턴이나 이런 페이스 면을 위주로 훈련하고 있고요. 뭐 웨이트 면도 많이 훈련하고 있기 때문에. Park won the gold in the 400 meter freestyle at the Beijing Olympics last year, but he failed to qualify for the finals of the 1500 meters. His best time in the 1500 meters is 14 minutes 55.03 seconds. Park wants to cut that time by a tenth of a second in July at the World Swimming Championships in Rome. He will return home in the middle of next month after completing six weeks of training. The restoration of the walls along Mount Pugag and Mount Inwang in Seoul have been completed. The city government of Seoul has installed some 720 lights there to enhance the city's beautiful nightscape. Seoul Fortress walls are now part of the brilliant urban night scenery. The spectacular lights spotlight the magnificence of old castle walls. The walls were first built in the early Joseon dynasty, but damaged by frequent invasions. Now the walls have been restored, and some 720 lights have been installed in the Samcheong, Cheongun, and Changchung areas. The 복원된 서울 성곽에 불을 밝힘으로써 우리 문화재의 아름다움을 보여주고 또 서울 경관에도 크게 기여할 것으로 생각합니다. The Seoul City Government has also been operating lighting systems along the 4.2-kilometer sector spanning the Songbuk and Gwanghi areas since early last year. With the latest installment, a total of 9.5 kilometers of the walls have been lighted. 전에는 시커먼 산밖에 안 보였었는데 지금은 불이 밝아서 성곽이 잘 보여서 보기 좋은 것 같아요. Seoul plans to set up additional lights along the remaining 2.4 kilometer segment when the wall restoration project ends at the end of this year. The walls will be eliminated from sunset to 11 at night. The bright yellow freesia is one of the best known winter flowers here in Korea. A Korean variety of the winter flower is seeing brisk sales on the world market. 
These particularly yellow freesias with a rich scent are named shiny gold. This new breed has been developed in Korea over the past three years. The stems are longer and the buds bigger. They stay fresh three days longer than other breeds after picking, making them suitable for long-distance export. The flower is 20% higher in price, but exports to Japan have doubled every year. The number of export destinations has also grown every year. Freesia has grown in the Netherlands account for half of the world market, but Korea's breed is emerging as a new competitor. Middle-aged people are emerging as new powerful fans for concerts, musicals and plays. Some shows exclusively target the fans in their 40s or older. Let's have a look. In their school days, the middle-aged people had dreams for their future and their first love. Listening to old songs, they reminisce about the good old days. They forget about burdens from their daily lives involving children, jobs and household chores, which have burdened them since they became middle-aged. The husband's love for his late wife moves the heart of the fans. With a swarm of older fans, tickets are sold out for every show it hosts. Middle-aged people account for more than 40% of the nation's entire population. The show business industry is adopting a new marketing strategy to attract older fans by inspiring their souls. Baskets are basically used to store things, but they also make wonderful home decoration items. So let's take a look at all the different ways to use baskets. Baskets are everywhere here. This is a basket shop. This long basket can be used as an alternative to a vase. Food can be served in this wide basket. And a big basket is good for keeping clothes. This one with handles is something that you can take when going on a picnic. There are five or six hundred kinds of baskets here. And they're made from various materials such as bamboo to soft banana skin to coconut leaves. And among them, rattan baskets are the most popular. Rattan baskets are sleek and strong and they become even better when they're used a long time. Baskets also serve as home decoration items nowadays. There are many unique baskets as well, such as elephant-shaped ones, chicken-shaped ones and orange-shaped baskets. A basket is used to store wine and a basket is home to puppies. CDs, books and magazines are also kept in baskets. You can use a basket for other purposes than for storage. A flat basket can be used as a photo frame. Attach photos on a basket and hang it on a wall. A deep and wide basket can replace a flower pot. A tightly woven basket is a good match with green plants. Putting wallpaper inside the basket can prevent a leak of soil and make a hole at the bottom and put the plant in. A basket is used to decorate the dining table on a special day. Put some dried flower petals and light a candle in a basket. The decoration would give a graceful air to your dining table. A huge basket with a lid is very versatile. Fix some wheels under the basket. You can move it around wherever you want it. 
It serves as a storage of newspapers or magazines, and with a sheet of beautiful tablecloth, it can turn into a tea table for visitors. A loosely woven basket can be used as a lampshade. The soft light through the basket is really romantic. So take some baskets home tonight for unique flavor. And it's time now for a look at today's economic indicators, followed by world weather. And that does it for this edition of News Today. Join me tomorrow at the same time. Thank you for watching.